Good afternoon and welcome back to our studio in ICCA at Knowledge Village. And it's my pleasure this afternoon to have Mr. Bassan with us. Bassan, would you please tell us who you are and which company you're representing today? Uh, good afternoon. My name is uh, Bassan Boussaleh. Uh, I am uh, uh, representing U.S. Meat Export Federation with a group called AMFI Group. Uh, I have been here in this region for the last uh, 20 years, so we know the country very well. Uh, and uh, actually, we have a good relation with the Emirates Culinary you Guild. Mean, you've been a supporter of the Guild for many years. Um, and we in our uh, humble of a guild we use on our competitions a lot of your u.s beef yes what are the different cuts you bring in mainly for the hotels is it just for prime cuts uh, actually used like 15 years back chefs are used only to prime cuts like six six seven cuts like tenderloin strip loin ribeye about uh, uh, with our, with the help of the guild uh, activities and our uh, professional chefs, senior chefs here, we introduced the underutilized cuts, U.S. beef underutilized cuts, and uh, now the chefs, like several hotels and uh, major hotels, are using now yeah. uh, U.S. beef underutilized cuts. I mean, cuts. this is a We as the guild took a few years back with your support to um, bring in, in our competitions, our salons, the, as you say, the un uh, un underused cuts, the secondary cuts, um, because we're a great believer is that anyone can cook a fillet and it will come out nice and tender, but it takes skill to cook a top side, a rump, and we wanted both with your uh, good help because they weren't available on the market to bring them in, introduce them and to bring back skills into the competition. Do you feel by us doing that, it's helped to educate uh, the chefs in the Emirates about the different cuts? Because uh, you know that underutilized cuts is a wide range of cuts, and the, they have a very reasonable price com compared to the prime cuts. Yeah. And when we have, like you know, in the U.S., we have like uh, standards for quality standards like uh, prime, choice, select, etc. Yeah. So whenever you use the underutilized cuts from those categories, from those standards, then you are using a very high quality beef. Yeah. But not all chefs know how to use them. So that's why we are focusing, highlighting those cuts during our activities with the guild yeah. uh, to, uh, to learn from the professional chefs, to educate the young chefs also how to use those properly. Yeah. Because most of them is not like, like tenderloin, it needs like a special treatment. And but you know, those cook, those underutilized cooks uh, cuts have more flavor at times than what the uh, prime cuts are. Those you grill, yeah. but when you have to cook a brisket and you have to cook it slow cooked or something, it has such a rich, wonderful body to it that you enjoy eating the meat, yeah. not having to cut a steak and you've got no flavor. Exactly. So the also it's like another another nice food like yeah. style. So uh, we also would like to to uh, introduce it to new chefs like young chefs to know how to use it and like the Do you find after we've introduced these to the guild salons has there been more interest from the hotels and restaurants? Yes. Especially this time, so many hotels and chefs are interested in, in preparing those uh, cuts uh, and to use it in their menu because 
because this time is like a tough time, COVID-19 yeah. time, like all the business is not going very well. So, so they, are, they are trying to, do, in, to introduce more like reasonable uh, price. price yeah. beef. Of course. So. Uh, quality at the end of the day, exactly. you can give your guests the same quality, but it's just a different cut. Different you know, going forward, are there cuts you would still like to introduce into the market from beef? We, we have like uh, our, actually our main market in this region is the food service. Right. So, uh, so our main target is the chef. Yeah. But also uh, our items, our beef is available in the supermarket in the okay. main supermarkets here in Lulu and Carrefour and Park and Shop. So all of them like uh, having the beef available there, US beef, prime cuts and underutilized cuts. And we have a special programs for them, like in the supermarket and in the retail sector to let them know more about it and the proper handling and using of such items. Yeah. Relationship with the guild and the salons, um, what you call it, do you feel that's overflowed into the retail market? That the fact that the hotels are using these cuts, the housewife at home is using more? Uh, yeah, but not uh, uh, the house, the USB mainly the steak is not like, uh, uh, people here in this region are not familiar with uh, cooking the steak. They, they yeah. know how to do the shawarma, right. the, the beef with rice and- Which second? You're perfect for that. So we are doing some activities with the help of the chefs and the ACG, MS Culinary Guild, to do some uh, demos in the supermarkets to introduce uh, the underutilized cats to the housewives in the local uh, recipes, the yeah. local dishes. That's so, right. Also. Yeah. At the end of the day, any, we, we don't call our, corporate members, sponsors. Yeah. We call them partners. And that's what it is, uh, where we can partner with and help you. You're helping us, we're sure. partnering with us, which we're always grateful. Yeah. And we know from a personal point of view, Mr. Bassam, what a great supporter and partner you are. Yeah, it's a mutual. Yes, of course. We're supporting each other. <laughs> yeah. So, I think we're about finished with uh, our USB, but we've got a wonderful video now. It tells you all about the product.